Hey Vikes, I'm Darren. In today's show, we will have stuff on the weekly sports highlight and a look at your snowball faves. And I'm Ryan, and this is your Daily News. Prepare for something amazing. Hey, my sis, what's up? <laughs> The spirit theme for tomorrow is twin, and Friday is country. Miss Noble will be visiting the junior class on Friday during Mr. Alexander's enrollment talk to show students how to apply for next year's internship class. Key Club is hosting a lip sync battle on February 21st. Sign up for your act online by February 10th. For more information, talk to Kim Vu or Mr. Cromie. The registration deadline for the ACT prep with Carolyn Devane. It's Friday. Click the link in the Schoology Bulletin to download the registration form. Winter Senior Night is Tuesday, February 13th. Senior athletes, please get your information sheets turned into Mrs. McCormick in the athletic department today. Hey, Ryan, what's your favorite thing about Snowball? You know, that's a tough one. Well, mine is having fun with my friends. Let's see what your favorites are. It's about Snowball. What's your favorite thing about Snowball? the dance um probably just like going with friends and like hanging out there yeah mine would be like being able to like dress up and like just hang out with their friends showing off my dancing skills probably the music or the spirit week what has been your favorite spirit day so far the hawaiian day hawaiian for sure yeah hawaiian hawaiian tourists uh probably pajama day pajama day because I just rolled out of bed. And if you could create a spirit day to have for spirit week, what would it be? A meme spirit day. Emoji day. Um, like dress up as like old vines, you know? Yeah. Um, like dress up as a famous person. Old people. Now back up. <laughs> Whoa, those are some good answers. Now over to sports with me. Are you looking to show someone that they are special this Valentine's Day? Want to support the Interact Club? I have some good news. Interact Club will be selling Valentine grams during lunch. The cost is $1 and includes a Hershey's Kiss. They will be delivered during seminar. What more could you possibly want? Remember, Interact Club, Valentine grams, Hershey's Kisses, $4 at lunch. Get one now! Hey, you look just like me. Oh wow, I do. I guess Thursday's twin day. And Friday is country. Working or not. Girls interested in swimming or diving, please plan to attend one of the informational meetings on Wednesday, February 14th. Freshmen will meet in the West Commons at 1050. Grades 10 through 12 will meet in room 911 at 310. If you are unable to attend the meeting, see Mr. Tuck in 911 after February 14th to sign up and get information. Come out and support the Seaman Boys Swim and Dive team as they strive to become three-time Centennial League champions this Thursday and Friday. The Centennial League Swim and Dive Championships are being held in Topeka at the Capfeld Auditorium in Hummer Sports Park. Diving is on Thursday, February 8th at 4 p.m. and swimming takes place on Friday, February 9th at 4 p.m. The team would appreciate as many Viking fans as possible cheering loud and proud. Good luck, Swim and Dive team. There will be a brief organizational meeting today for all boys interested in playing golf this spring. The meeting will be immediately after school in Coach Blackman's room, E4. If you cannot attend the meeting, see Coach Blackman or Coach Reinberg during seminar on the 7th to sign up and get tryout information. Before we head over to your weekly sports highlights, I'd like to talk about two Seaman boys basketball players who had an outstanding performance last night. First from the varsity game, varsity starter and Valley Center Tournament MVP Trey Duffy had his career high of 31 points against the Spartans last night, going 13 for 14 from the stripe. From the JV game, Jake Spence proved his worth, hitting two clutch buzzer beaters, one at the end of the fourth and one at the end of overtime, pushing the Vikes over the Spartans. Now, over to your weekly sports highlights. Last Monday, where we had part two of the Sunflower Showdown. This game was all Jayhawks, and they did not let off of the gas pedal. 
The Hawks led by double digits throughout most of the game, all thanks to great shooting as well as smart defense. The Wildcats did try to cut it to nine, but the Hawks always had an answer. Dean Wade led the Wildcats with 20 points, and Svi Mikhailuk led KU with 22 points as the Jayhawks would sweep the Sunflower Showdown with a final score of 70 to 56. Next up, we head to Allen Fieldhouse where the seventh ranked Jayhawks face big underdog Oklahoma State. The Cowboys came out hot and shot lights out throughout this entire game, hitting 12 three pointers throughout the entire game, as well as out-rebounding the Jayhawks. KU tried firing back on all cylinders, but once they were close, OSU seemed to pull away. The Cowboys would upset the Jayhawks in Lawrence with a score of 84-79. to The Jayhawks have lost their third game this year at Allen Fieldhouse. Let's take a quick look at the Big 12 standings. KU bounced back from their loss with a win against TCU last night, making them first in the Big 12. Texas Tech is in second, but they do host Iowa State tonight. West Virginia got a big win against Oklahoma on Monday, which makes them third in the Big 12. Still a lot of time left with great matchups still ahead. We head on over to the big game. Sunday was Super Bowl 52, where the Eagles faced the Patriots. It was back and forth all game, as this was a heavy offensive battle. Tom Brady broke the record for most passing yards in a Super Bowl with a whopping 505 yards as well as throwing for three touchdowns, but the Eagles' fourth quarter defense helped them give the edge over New England. Philadelphia would win their first championship in franchise history as they won 41 to 33. Nick Foles won the Super Bowl MVP as he passed for 373 yards and three touchdowns. We will end this off with our epic moment of the week as unranked Washington shows us how to defeat a top 10 team in epic fashion. Let's take a look. Swatted by Aiden Green at the horn for the win! Oh my! If you are planning on watching the Cats tonight at 7, it will be on the Longhorn Network. So good luck. Now over to the one, the only, Weatherman Josh! Well, Vikes, I'm sorry. Yesterday's forecast was a complete bust. Dry air around 5,000 feet into the atmosphere completely ate up the southern side of the system. Tomorrow, we should see much warmer weather. Uh, and then, tonight, really, we do stay cold, though. As we fall back into the lower 20s under mostly clear skies, light winds as well. And then for tomorrow, a 30-degree rebound, mostly sunny skies. It'll feel noticeably different tomorrow. Now for your SVTV five-day forecast, you can see that we do have a snow chance for Saturday. Right now, any accumulations look to remain light, but we will have to watch the forecast closely as it may interfere with snowball. Today in history, it's National Periodic Table Day and Chris Rock's birthday. Now, back to your anchors. Thanks, Josh. That's all for today, Vikes. Enjoy the rest of your snowball week. Have a wonderful day. Just bounce through this. Oh, 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 o